Now, in one week, North Carolina's stay at home order is set to expire. And if the cases continue as they have, then North Carolina likely will follow South Carolina's lead and start to reopen. Yes, yeah, so people want to know what that means. It probably not means what you're envisioning, though. Uh, remember, we will start with phase one in North Carolina. That means you'll be able to travel for reasons that are not essential. Yes, that means that shopping at places like clothing stores, sporting goods stores and bookstores will take place, but you will still have to practice social distancing inside those stores. You'll be encouraged to wear a mask and employers will be encouraged to continue remote working. Check out that crowd earlier today. Not everyone is willing to wait, not even a few more days. They want to go to work right now, worried about their bills, their livelihoods, and their families. Channel 9's Mark Becker is joining us live tonight. Mark, we've seen the protests in Raleigh, but now this one today was held in Uptown Charlotte. Yeah, Erica, a lot of urgency, a lot of maybe impatience on the part of people here. They've certainly seen what's going on at the state capitol in Raleigh. But organizers here wanted to let the governor and others know that there are plenty of people right here in Charlotte and Mecklenburg County who feel it's time for the county and the state to reopen. All right, baby, you want to roll down just a little bit? Jeanette Wilson loaded up her minivan with five kids and a single message that it's time to get back to work. I have family members that are affected by this. Um, my sister has a small clothing store in Concord and it's at risk of being shut down permanently. Cynthia Roth is a swim coach who's temporarily lost her job. I'm here because we are in the midst of being on the brink of an economic collapse and that is not healthy for anyone. Thank you for for coming out here to support the reopen Mac movement. There was plenty of patriotism and politics on display, but the organizer of this protest said this demonstration was not political. We have Democrats, unaffiliated, and Republicans all coming together here, co I mean coalescing and uniting over this issue that businesses across the county need to reopen. Soon enough, the talk was all drowned out by the raucous motorcade that rolled through the heart of Uptown Charlotte. Dozens of others shouted their support from the sidewalk. Police were here, but largely in the background, and the whole protest went off without any trouble, but not without some quiet disagreement. Craig Allen was one of those with questions. I mean, I want the city to open up, but at the same time, our health is more important, isn't it? So, I mean, it, it's, just, it's just crazy. It all lasted a couple of hours here, and as you can see, back to normal now, Erica, normal as we know it today. And one of the protesters told me, look, we know that it's only a week until the state says they're going to reopen. We don't really expect that to accelerate, but we just want the governor and others to know that, we're, that we have voices here and they wanted to be heard. Erica? Yes, they are passionate, passion on both sides of the issue, all sides. Um, thank you, Mark.